Hi, and a warm welcome from the cockpit of the new Porsche 911 Carrera GTS. Today we're holding a different sort of press conference. I have been cleared to take my first test lap, and you, ladies and gentlemen, will be the first in the world to experience the new GTS. The second generation 911 Carrera GTS is now being launched as a coupe and cabriolet, each with rear wheel or all wheel drive. The four versions close the gap between the Carrera S and the GT3. In the 911 model series, there are now a total of 19 sports cars producing from 350 to 560 horsepower. As in all of our GTS models, driving fun and sportiness are top priorities. But now, our experts in Weissach, who developed this car, will reveal the special technical ingredients of the 911. The new Carrera GTS is clearly the 911 that is positioned precisely between the Carrera S and the GT3. This means that it's significantly sportier and it shows the sportiness in its wide body, which we have seen in the C4 and GT3 models. The 911 GTS is characterized with a specific front. It has a deep body color spoiler and all the lights are dark and we have dark headlights, dark side lights and dark blinkers. The subtle elegance of the GTS in the side view is defined by the black wheels and the simple application of the GTS logo on the lower door. Also on the door are the sport design mirrors. At the rear the GTS is underlined by the black engine grille and the black louvers between the tail lamps. The C4 version of course has in place of the louvers a light band. In addition at the rear we also have the tailpipes finished in a black chrome. The GTS is characterized by an interior trimmed in black Alcantara with contrasting stitching. In addition the GTS logo is applied to the headrests in the sports seats and the rocker panels. Further highlighting the interior are the black gauges with the GTS logo and the anodized aluminium trim. The new Carrera GTS models produce 430 HP, 30 HP more than in a normal Carrera S. We did this by systematically optimizing the induction system and tuning it for power. We increased valve stroke from 11 millimeters to 11.7 millimeters and streamlined the induction pipes. This led to a perceptible gain in power. This extra power expresses itself most in the upper engine speed range, where engine revving is noticeably freer and more agile. Finally, it's evident in acceleration times. In the Carrera S with a PDK transmission, for example, the car takes 4.0 seconds to sprint from 0 to 100 kmh and has a top speed of 304 kmh. The 911 Carrera GTS can be driven in a very sporty way, yet it offers unlimited everyday utility. To enhance sportiness, we widened the car's track considerably at the rear. The wheels are also one half inch wider at both front and rear. The wider rear track gives the vehicle even better steering response for greater ride stability, especially at high driving speeds. The GTS has a much sportier character than the normal Carrera S. There are many customers who might like to purchase the GT3 but hesitate to do so because it's a bit too uncompromising. The GTS is precisely the right solution here. It tends towards the performance of the GT3 without losing sight of the 100% everyday practicality of the Carrera S. That's another special strength of our sports cars. They offer an optimal spread between power and fuel economy, sportiness and comfort, 
racetrack performance and everyday utility. Drivers can choose the spread between everyday utility and sportiness themselves by selecting the normal, sport or sport plus operating mode, which affects chassis settings, the accelerator pedal characteristic, gear shifting map of the PDK transmission and control of the sport exhaust system. But it's not just the car's love of high revs or its power that makes it appear sportier, rather it's primarily the car's acoustics. The sound of a combustion engine is essentially the effect of pressure pulsation in the induction and exhaust systems. In the 911 Carrera GTS, we have optimally tuned them to one another, which gives the GTS a very distinctive engine sound. 30 HP extra power does not affect fuel consumption. At 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers, the vehicle has the same fuel consumption as the Carrera S with a PDK transmission. The Carrera GTS will be available in rear-wheel and all-wheel drive versions as a coupe or cabrio. The car's sporty look, the dynamic drivetrain and the typical GTS sound are persuasive arguments for choosing the GTS. So that was a really brief summary of the key information. We'll see you again at the latest for racing at the Willow Springs Raceway in the USA.